Well, at this point, many of us have heard the stories about New York City sinking slowly but surely. But that does not mean we're not facing a similar issue right here in our own backyards. News 3 anchor Pari Cruz in the community this morning, bringing us the update on a new study and what it finds. The study points to some alarming news. The Chesapeake Bay is sinking. A team of researchers at Virginia Tech have discovered that sea levels are rising at a faster rate than previously predicted because the land is actually sinking. Hampton Roads is a region with land sinking at a relatively high rate, nearly a quarter of an inch per year. The region most at risk, Naval Station Norfolk. It's one of the fastest rates that they've observed around the country and top 10 in the whole world. With the sea levels being higher, it means the flooding hazard for our area is going to be worse and amplified due to the heavy precipitation from storms, river discharge, or both. The team is led by Dr. Shirzai, an associate professor of radar remote sensing, engineering, and geophysics at Virginia Tech. He tells me the sinking is caused by natural processes such as the change in elevation due to the melting of glacial ice, and that cannot be stopped. However, the main driver for hot spots like ours are sites of major anthropogenic activities such as groundwater pumping from aquifers. Dr. Shirzai says this paired with coastal erosion leads to wetland losses and can have major negative implications for wildlife and for us, so we need to act now. If you don't defend, if you don't create adaptation uh, plans to, to improve the resilience against the flooding hazard, life will be very difficult in future in the Chesapeake Bay. So because flooding can impact infrastructures, house, properties, railways, roads, highways, pipelines, and those um, will be affected and degraded and damaged by flooding. The other issue would be that uh, loss of the lands, uh, important habitats like such as wetlands, those are among the most important actually ecosystem that provides livelihood for many kind of um, creatures, but also uh, provide protection to the coastal communities by reducing the intensity of flooding. All of those are the scenarios that can happen in future if we don't act now. He told me some solutions could be upgrading protection facilities like dams, raising land and improving flood resiliency in our area. But this action has to be swift and comprehensive. I'm Pari Cruz, News 3. Now just last month, I followed up with the Chesterfield Heights neighborhood in Norfolk. To check out the work that's being done there to prevent flooding in that part of the city. I was in the community with the Norfolk's chief resilience officer. There's a shot of us checking out some of the improvements, the work that's already been completed, all thanks to a $112 million grant working to keep the Elizabeth River in its banks and not inside this neighborhood. You can watch my reporting from start to finish within this story on WTKR.com and also see how faith leaders are joining the fight against flooding, plus why a wobble in the moon's orbit could lead to more severe tidal flooding in the years to come. All of my recent coverage when it comes to Norfolk and flooding inside this story on WTKR.com.